Welcome back to our channel. Today I wanted to go over doing a temperature tower in Voxel Maker. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to load and we're going to go find the temperature tower. So I'm going to use this one right here. Alright, and this warning pops up. I'll just repair the model and be good to go. So now the filament that I am using is Overture Matte PLA and I don't want to test down to 180 degrees the lowest I want to go is uh, 190 because um, the paperwork says it's from 190 to 220 degrees so uh, first thing I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna cut this I'm going to cut it on the Z plane and I got to move it up. I'm going to locate it right above 190. Okay, let's look at that. Uh, rotate it. There we go. That's it's right where I want to cut it. So I'm going to start the cut and then I'm going to select this and just uh, delete it. Okay, so now we have the tower that we want to look at. So the next thing we want to do is go to print. Okay, hold on, let me uh, let me pick. Uh, okay, first thing we want to do is just slice it. We're going to slice it right away, and um, let me just save it somewhere. Now the reason why we want to slice it is because we want to figure out where each layer is. Because Voxel Maker, when it does temperature changes at heights, it does it by millimeters. It does not do it by layers. So, so we got that's why we slice it first. So now let's look down at the layers. Now, Overture PLA, the uh, map PLA, it says the max temperature is 220. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my print at 220 and print all the way up to here. So let me just go down here and you can use your um, use your arrow keys after you click on the circle right there to find the layer okay so let me go up no nope. now so I'll just stop it right there so layer 107 now I'm printing this at a 0.2 millimeter layer height but my first layer is 0.3 so what we need to do is figure out how many millimeters up this is. So right now let's just ignore the let's ignore the first layer which is 0.3. Okay, so we have 0.2 millimeter layer height up to 107 layers. Okay. So let me bring over the calculator so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so let's calculate what this distance is from the second layer up to layer 107. So we're missing the first layer, so we need to take 107 and subtract 1. So we're going to start off with 106 layers, and we're going to times it by our layer height, which is 0.2, which gives us 21.2 millimeters. Okay. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to add back in that first layer which is 0.3, so let's just add 0.3, we get 21.5. So our first temperature change, I'm going to start off printing at 220 all the way up to the top of 220, and our first layer, this is where our first temperature change is going to be, at layer 107, which is at 21.5 millimeters in height. Okay, and that's from the print bed. So now what we need to do is we need to figure out the distance between in millimeters the distance between each temperature change so I'll just go up using my arrow keys till I get to the next temperature change which is okay let me go back down Okay, so that looks the same as the previous one. So you can see it's layer 157. So it's 50 layers. Okay, 
So it's 50 layers to the next temperature change. So we're going to take 50 layers times a 0.2 millimeter layer height and that gives us 10 millimeters. So each one of these sections is 10 millimeters. And you can confirm that by measuring your temperature tower when you're done. You'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, so every 10 millimeters, so again we're starting off at 21.5 is going to be our first temperature change. Then it's going to go up 10 millimeters, so 31.5 to the next layer change. Okay, so let's go back. Let's go to print. All right, let me choose this filament. Now, you want to set your extruder temperature to the first temperature that you're going to be printing at. So we're going to start off at 220 degrees, so the extruder set to 220 degrees. Now we need to go over to the cooling tab. All right. Let me change that. I don't know why that's there. Anyways, <clears throat> we're at the cooling tab, so what we need to do is we need to, under reset temperature at heights, I don't know I don't know why it's at the cooling tab. It makes no sense, but anyways. So let's put in our first layer height, or our first uh, temperature change, which is at 21.5 millimeters, and we're going to drop that down to 200, 215C, okay? So we'll add that in there. Now we need to go up 10 more. So, whoops, yeah. So we need to go up to 31.5 and drop the temperature down to 210. And let's add that in. And then we need to go up another 10 millimeters to 41.5 and change that to 205. And then we need to continue going up. So 50, 51.5. We want to be down to 200, so we add that in. Then 61.5 will be at 195. Let's add that in. And then at 71.5 will be at 190. Okay, so you can double check just by clicking this drop down. You can see at 21.5 millimeters, which is what we calculated, our temperature is going to be at 215 degrees C at that height. Then we're going to go up 10 millimeters, drops to 210, 25, 200, 195, 190, etc. Okay, so let's hit OK. Let's hit OK to slice. All right, we can just uh, overwrite that. That's fine. And now it's sliced it. Okay, I'm missing the bottom bar. I couldn't get this stupid window to be all the way up here. But anyways, so here's our estimation, our 5.1 millimeters. And you can see our starting temperature is at 210. It's not going to show you all the uh, temperature changes. So it's just going to have the starting information. Okay. Okay, so we'll see you after the print. I've included this time lapse just so you can see the uh, starting print temperature and watch the print as it goes up and there you see it drop in temperature and it's going up again and drops again oops somebody moved the camera well, anyways uh, this will give you an idea of what it's like so this is the temperature tower after printing um, so what I did is I just I looked over this temperature tower, I looked at all the overhangs, I looked at all these little cones in here, I looked at the circles, um, then I looked at where the temperatures, the, the locations where the temperature's at, and then you can see bridging here. So, I, I selected 210 degrees as my print temperature. Um, I didn't, I didn't really evaluate this for stringing um, I suppose probably somewhere between uh, 205 and 210 I, I could have gone either way you know just looking at the print here's another view of the overhangs um, you, know, you can see on the back side uh, let's see which one is the uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. so 
one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so four. Two ten is four levels up. One, two, three, four. Um, two oh five. So on the back side, you can see two oh five is good. Two ten is decent. I don't know what I don't know what that is right there. Oh, that's just stringing. That's not a big deal. Um, so retraction is a different tuning, but I mean you can see on the back side that yeah, two oh five might have been better. Um, 200 looks okay, 195 looks okay, um, but I stuck with 210 for now. And when I did my, um, and when I've, I've done some other prints with this, and 210 seems to work just fine. So uh, this is the result of the temperature tower, and uh, yeah. So I hope you found this video helpful and uh, you're able to do your own temperature towers in Voxel Maker. Good luck.